Our first homework assignment is called Clyde Barrow Investigation. And the case background uh, explains that an individual was arrested in connection to pass uh, counterfeit cash and checks. Um, and uh, uh, Missouri State Highway Patrol was able to apprehend uh, the individual in his apartment. So um, it's very important to notice that this is uh, Missouri State. So it's uh, central uh, standard time in terms of the time zone. So we come across any drives uh, that uh, are not supporting universal uh, time uh, storage, uh, then we have to uh, manually adjust the time zone according to this uh, locality. Okay, so uh, the uh, individual's hard drive was uh, forensically imaged, and this is the um, the zip file that you can download, and these are the verification hashes uh, for the drive. So my recommendation is that uh, you choose uh, a good location uh, for um, your forensic images. Uh, so. Here I have created pretty simple path to uh, CIT255 uh, subdirectory um, already created. And I have this uh, folder named Forensic Images where I already downloaded the zip file and unzipped uh, the file that contained in there, which is cbarrow.001. Okay, so we'll find out what is the format of this um, uh, image. Um, and... Uh, we can actually start uh, by adding this forensic image to FTK Imager and quickly check these verification hashes. So file, add evidence item, and this will be an image file. And uh, I have it located in this directory, so I'm just going to copy this and go next. Uh, so uh, this... Uh, should give me uh, access here and uh, this is the the drive that we need to be able to analyze so I'm just going to open this and finish all right uh, so in FTK imager uh, what we can do is just right click and say verify drive image so uh, it's uh, just uh, checks the integrity of this drive and by the way also it's already indicating uh, down here that the image type is raw so this is just a bit by bit copy of the original drive all right uh, so uh, it tells me that uh, computed hashes are obviously this format is not capable of storing any uh, any hashes so we can only recompute and uh, manually uh, match uh, this 0B0F to all the way down to 838, which looks pretty good. And similarly, SHA-1 also looks good. And uh, no bad blocks, so everything looks okay. So we can definitely confirm that uh, this image uh, matches these verification uh, hashes that were produced during the acquisition of the image. Okay, so we can, we're can we safe to proceed uh, forward with our objectives uh, to examine the drive, identify all the data with possible connections to the case. Of course, I never uh, read loud this, this description, but it's important that you read it. And uh, many of these things should give you uh, keywords that you can search uh, uh, for in your, uh, uh, in your investigation uh, to try to locate relevant uh, information. Also, just a quick note here that uh, um, uh, any um, any image, any picture that you find that has clear indication with the yellow tape uh, suggests that this picture is illegal contraband material uh, like child abuse um, and uh, it should be tagged, hash checked and reported. So the primary areas of focus are uh, Windows registry information, which provides us info about the time zone used with this computer, um, the, the information about the 
the configuration of the hard drive, info about operating system, user accounts, and the software that uh, is installed. Uh, we can examine the recycle bin where some files were deleted and placed in the recycle, uh, recycle bin. A possibility of deleted or hidden partitions, essentially partitions like this that existed and now they were deleted by the user but still could uh, surface uh, uh, in our investigation. Uh, deleted folder suspicious files like encrypted files or zip files with passwords, uh, things of that nature. Uh, also, uh, you know that Microsoft Office uh, uh, documents um, and other files can also be encrypted. Uh, uh, communication between the suspects means um, any kind of messaging, emails, um, and also web history and web searches. So that's an obvious uh, great source of all sorts of uh, information that can be pretty useful. Uh, what is the name of the forensic evidence file that you examine? So you basically specify the name of the file. Uh, briefly describe your choice of forensic software. Uh, what can I say? I typically like to load uh, these images in FTK Imager and do like I did this uh, quick uh, check for the drive uh, health. Um, or verify uh, the image uh, hash values. In addition to this, it gives me a very quick overview of what is present on this drive. And look, there is one partition which is uh, happens to be an NTFS partition with information and also something that FTK Imager reports as recovered partition which is a uh, hefty 539 megabytes of data and uh, it seems like it was FAT32 at some point it was removed or somehow got lost and it has uh, quite a bit of information right here so that needs to be investigated so um, clearly uh, this is uh, uh, something to, uh, to, to, to take advantage of when using FTK uh, Imager to examine uh, this forensic image. I will definitely also load this drive in autopsy, use uh, its ingest modules and the evidence tree to locate relevant information. So, but here we need to describe which forensic software you uh, use to verify the integrity of forensic image. So, my choice here was Access Data FTK Imager. Obviously, computed hashes uh, here go into the uh, into these fields, and in my case, it has validated uh, correctly. And here, uh, information about hard drive partition where where the operating system is installed. So my guess is that since the operating system requires uh, NTFS, uh, uh, that's the place where the operating system was installed. And uh, here, of course, uh, we have NTFS as a file system, and uh, we have uh, some information displayed over here and some information uh, that we can uh, re um, also access um, in autopsy if we load this image um, in autopsy forensics. And next part here is uh, called management summary. I recommend that you uh, write stuff here after you complete the rest of this form. Uh, you should have your management summary section uh, at the top of your forensic report. And because uh, many people may choose to read just this section uh, to quickly grasp the idea of what is being presented in your document. Uh, so here, of course, if you find something like car explosion and it happens to be relevant to the case, uh, it will be briefly uh, mentioned here. And uh, But I recommend that you skip it for now and go to other parts.